Today, there are still reminders on the East Beach of the dramatic events of January the 9th, 1917. The rusted plates of the Fernabo can be seen in the sand. She'd been caught in a howling gale and blown in half by a mine. Former coxswain Shrimp Davis, a boy at the time, recalls the rescue and the age of the lifeboat crew. On the 9th and 10th of January, 1917, the young men were away at the war and average age was 50. Uh, at six o'clock in the morning, a Greek ship was in trouble, the Pyron, and they have to row in a gale of wind, it was a gale of wind and rough, get through the surf, get the sailor, get to the crew of the Pyron, and as they come coming ashore, the Fernie bow, Stephen Pass, blows in half. Now, they then have to, of course, get the crew of the Pyron out, manhandle the boat back onto the carriage, then pull it in the water again, and then try again, but they couldn't do it. The weather was worse than all the time. The two halves washed ashore at Cromer, driven ashore. One by the dock, the steps break wall, and one at the fire break wall. And they couldn't get there. Couldn't get all. The crew on one half of the Fernabo climbed into a small ship's boat, only to be capsized as she neared the breakers on the beach. A chain of helpers, led by a soldier stationed in the town, waded into the water, and the men were saved. Meanwhile, the lifeboat Louisa Hartwell, striving to reach the other half of the Fernabo, had been tossed back onto the beach by the breakers. The Cromer and Sheringham rocket brigades fired their lines, but the rockets were blown aside. Thousands were now watching from the clifftop. The lifeboat launched again. Swinging lamps, glistening oilskins, roaring breakers, and a half hour of battling to clear the shallows was met again with defeat. Five smashed oars and victory again for the sea. The fourth launch was near midnight by the light of searchlights from the cliff. Again, the aged crew hauled on their oars. The lifeboat crested a wave, slid into a trough, and then a green flare. She was alongside the Fernabo, and 11 exhausted men were dragged into the boat, which turned for the beach. I've been over 24 hours, rowing and pulling and cold, and I said to Henry Blog, he was coxswain then, of course. I asked her, I said to him one day, what sort of men were they? And he said, they were fine old gentlemen, and that's all he said, you know. And you wonder what they went through, wet, cold, all those hours on the beach, getting the lifeboat back. Every time they failed, they had to get the lifeboat back onto the carriage, then into the water again, then try again. Six or seven times. You wonder how on earth they stuck it. With the young men of the town away at war, Blog's crew had an average age of over 50. Two were nearly 70. They'd battled for 14 hours to save the crew of the Pyrin and then the crew of the Fernabo. For tenacity, physical endurance, unwavering courage and skilful seamanship, a gold medal, two silver medals and a bronze medal for every other crew member were won at Cromer that day. <laughs>